YouTube, my social butterflies. I am a month behind on uploading videos and it is all right because I got priorities going on. I have some huge transitions going on in my life that could take a while to talk about. I'm, I'm not even going to get into it. It's just a lot of shifting going on in my life. The Lord is making moves and I am just recording and when I am ready to upload everything at the same time, that's when I'm going to just drop all these videos. This is probably one of the last of my haul videos today. It's going to be something a little bit unique as far as dolls are concerned. I know there's a bunch of new trendy dolls out that everybody's obsessing over, but I always like to have a, like, a different approach to my content so that people have something else to look into. So yeah, I'm doing jean dolls today. And jean dolls, if you've never heard of them, I'm not going to do a whole crash course. I'll do some links of some articles. I literally just discovered the jean doll this year. Um, so for those of you who do not know the jean doll, Jean Marshall is the name of the doll, just like Barbie. Um, jean Marshall is the name of the doll. And she is the face of the work of Mel Odom, who is the designer and she was first introduced in 1995 since then there had been over a million dolls that had been produced mel odom first designed this doll in 1991 it took a few years of investing time into designing this doll this product and perfecting it right since her debut at toy fair in 1995 she's been a primary creative focus i'm reading off of the book an accomplished illustrator he is. He has published two books, First Eyes and Dreamer, and has drawn covers for numerous books and such magazines as Time and Omni. Michael Somers, the co-author of the book that I'm holding, is currently the Daily New York Theater reviewer for the Star Ledger, Staten Island Advance, and other Newhouse newspapers. His writing has had also appeared in Entertainment Design, American Theater, Backstage, and Ella Decor. He also wrote a stage, the hit off Broadway Fred Astaire musical tribute, I Won't Dance, and frequently collaborated with the government artist Steve Ross. Okay, so I'm not very familiar with the whole theater writing um, niche, but I'm going to show you guys this book right now. This is one of the few books that I saw online for the Jean doll, and look at how pretty it is. It's so misty and nostalgic. I love that. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, guys. It's so, it's got such a nice, like, vintage goddess aesthetic. You know what I mean? And yes, yeah, it says Jean Marshall, girl star, Mel Odom, and her makeup is just gorgeous, right? This is the back. So, this is more of like a storybook. This is not like a magazine. I thought it was more of like a lookbook magazine, but it's not. It's just, it's got some nice pictures in there, but it's mainly just like a storyline like it's a story to her i guess to give her some character if that makes sense um it says right here i was just a kid when i saw jean for the first time on late night movie classics i was completely swept away her strength beauty and intelligence were pure glam glamour it was the kind of glamour that no longer existed at that time the credits rolled and there are there her name appeared in bold letters jean marshall jean marshall was that really her name wasn't my middle name jean also spelled like boys and wasn't my grandfather's middle name marshall and had she really taken jean as her stage name from her grandfather this had to mean something didn't it please please let it mean something dreams created for the mind of a child are the dreams of pure imagination, where all things are possible without question, where if you think of it, if you dream it, why of course you can't be it. Demi Moore wrote that. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm just going to do like a quick flip through for you guys so that you know what to expect if you're looking for this particular book. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting the actual lookbook. So this is the first photo that's in here and it's super nice i like the dress this is the more clear picture that they had edited so yeah it's not like that the whole time it's more of like oh, there you go you got another one you got some illustrations in there peekaboo so lots of writing as you can see 
and I'm not gonna like go through everything in detail but yeah we got some lovely photos you got a lovely flip through that's a beautiful picture and I don't have time to sit and read all of this but eventually I will um, yeah so that gives you an idea of what to expect guys there's some illustrations as you can see this is the book now you know what to expect this is the hardcover and I don't know what the retail price would have been because it's not even on the book like most books would be um, but that's fine by me I spent less than 30 I think it was less than 30 I don't remember what exactly it was but it, I know it was less than $30 it wasn't anything crazy anyway I'm going to show you guys my first genie jean doll not genie jean doll all right okay here she is this is the goddess and in a lovely teal dress her blonde hair and her bold red lips and she's even got a touch of yes bling 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 and the earrings i love that now I'm, I'm gonna say when i opened her i was a little bit ignorant to the fact that these dolls were so huge okay so disclaimer she's huge she's 15 inches tall to give y'all some perspective this is a barbie okay this is the silkstone barbie okay this is rainbow high comes up to her shoulders so that just gives you guys it's a big doll i was a little overwhelmed at first i was like i don't know i have to plead the blood of jesus don't don't walk around my house please because she's got legs look isn't that crazy it's a very well-made doll i just i've never had a doll this big before it it's not something I normally do. So I, I decided I'm not gonna collect many of these because of the fact that they're so big and hard to display. Like, they sit very well. They don't, she doesn't have shoes um, that came with her. I got her second hand, but <clears throat> guys, they're just so big, they take up space and I, I wish they were a little bit like right here. You know what I mean? Anyway, they decided to make them bigger, I think in order to show see they're painted the elegance of the dresses and make them a little bit more detailed and extravagant i guess that's my assumption the way that they rolled this i have no idea how they did this this is some strong like guys it's like a rock i i don't even know how they did that but it's not going to mess up and then her body it's different than barbie for sure it's very very strong material and they even got the collarbone of the doll if you notice that they've got very very little details um <clears throat> so that doll i got pretty sure off of ebay ebay i think yeah and then this one i got off of mercari i did discover another auction website um I don't know if I want to tell you guys yet because I already told y'all about two other ones. This is the logo right here for her. There she is. Ooh. Y'all. Ah, she's falling. Okay. She's falling. So I'm trying to do like a thumbnail. Anyway, this, that's not going to be the thumbnail. But um, she's got this netting that she doesn't need. Okay, this is so beautiful. Guys, I am so shocked. She comes with her stand and her shoes. I'm sorry, I, I haven't shown you guys yet. But this is her in her box. I'm going to just go ahead and take her out real quick because I don't want to do the review in here. I am so amazed. This is so freaking gorgeous. <laughs> wow. She's even got stockings. Wow. Okay. You can't see it. It's so thin. Hold on. Y'all see it? The ridges? Y'all see it? I'm just scratching it so you guys can see. Like, she is wearing stockings that fit very, very well. So that's why they made the doll so big. Because it's like you can fit everything better 
like Barbie stockings, they're they're like a little bit not fitted, if that makes sense. They look like kind of bulgy on the legs because the dolls are so small. Look at these shoes. <gasps> they're so cute. Yes. I like the the yellow, like this this kind of brightish gold. And there's these little stones. All that detail. Her nails are painted as well. And you can see that through there. That is so elegant, guys. And they kept it in the box, so the condition of the doll is very nice. Trust and believe I'm going to be putting her on the top shelf. Ain't nobody going to touch her. She's going to sit there. She's not going to collect dust. I'm going to wipe her down. And they're going to be just fine on my top shelf. Temperature is the same all the time in here. It's never humid. And yeah, she's going to stay looking like this forever. Um, hopefully. <laughs> But yeah, this is the stand that she comes with. It says Jean. And it's just like Barbie would be designed for her stand. But it's just a little bit nicer. So I guess I'm starting to have a little bit of a liking to Jean more than Barbie. Not because of the size, but because of the detail. Now, I should do a turnaround. There you go. That's the back. And the back is just as important as the front. I don't know how they made this, guys. This is so beautiful. There's a lot going on here. So this is like a separate skirt, if you will, that goes on top. And they just secured it with this bow here. Um, I think it's a fastener. Yeah, it's a fastener that secures that. There's some gathering here. Very, very nice. They have this lining. And then I think they have a fastener behind this buckle mm -hmm. so this is a separate skirt and then this is basically a regular um mermaid dress see makes sense i always love to see how things are made or like make sense of it you know there's no white lining on the interior there is a tag underneath here yeah and it says let me read it real quick sorry 1997 Mel Odom, and then there's a little part number, Ashton Drake Galleries is what it says. So, there it is right here. 1997, this doll is two years younger than me. I was born in 99. So, yeah. And I love this bow up here. The bust, it's like it barely covers. It's like it's just covering. Like, I had to pull it up because it was, like, coming out. And then... She's got this, um, what do you call it, shawl. It's like silk, you know? I love that. More bow accents. You can never have too many, huh? This, this is one of those looks. And then she's got this signature purse that she can... Okay, so this is how it works. There is a strap on the back right here. So you could just slip her hand in. So I just did it like that. And does it open? Yes, it does. There is a fastener right there, too. Every little detail. This is all the lining. It's perfect. No complaints whatsoever. And then this is her little card that she comes with. It says the same thing that is said on her tag. This is the gold sensation. Mine, I didn't say what it was. I'm sorry. Gold sensation is the name of this doll. It's a costume. And it says Philippines, so I guess that's where it was made. Beautiful. Now let's get to the hair and the face. This one looks a lot like the one that I just reviewed. Um, they did make, I do believe they did make African American one, if you guys are wondering. It's just that the black dolls are always harder to find. Um, she's got little earrings. And she's got, instead of like bold, simple red, it's more of like a there's a little bit of orange to it. It's a little bit of an orange variation, like a like a pinkish, orangish red. And I love these curls. They're very, very tough. They're just like, it's just like these rainbow high dolls. Like whatever they're using to keep the rainbow high dolls hair from, from moving, that's what they're using on this one. I don't know exactly what material um, a lot of these dolls hair is rooted in. I've heard of it, but I never can like tell the difference between one or the other. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not an expert on the hair. 
So you comment below what you think this hair is made of. Um, but yeah, this is her makeup is very similar. Focus. Her makeup is very, very similar to the previous one. She's got gray eyebrows. I think that's interesting. Her lashes feel nice. They're very simple, not too much. Simple blush. And she's got a bow here. And yes, that pin is holding it in her head. Um, yeah. And that's it. So if you guys like the review, go ahead and let me know what you think about these two. And I've got one more, guys. And I don't know if I'm going to keep collecting these because, like I said, they're, they're, they're large. One more coming in. And then there's like a couple dresses that I might buy, like individually, because I like the dresses. But I don't know. Again, these things are huge. And hmm. so <laughs> that's all I got to say. These dolls are big. Like, girl, what, where are you going to put this? This is like, I recommend putting dolls like these. If you want to put it on a display like this, where all these other dolls are cluttered, fine. But I feel like they belong these are statement pieces that could go next to really nice furniture like a, a side table you know what i mean like they don't really look best cluttered with a bunch of other dolls if that makes sense they're just more of like an accent statement piece for a home what other dolls do you collect i encourage you guys to explore other dolls and not just be like caught up in the trend of what's out there right right now because there's so many dolls out there and there's so many designers that are not getting a lot of attention um i don't know why that is because there's so many out there and yes the price points may vary but it's just worth looking into because you never know you might find something that you absolutely love so i encourage y'all to explore these auctions these doll websites doll auctions whatever if you guys are kind of bored or you're not satisfied with the current lines um, that's all that I got to say in this video and thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.